So the remainder when x is divided by 6. Okay. When x divided by 2, is the remainder is 1. When x is, yeah, the remainder is 0 when we divide by 3. So it's a multiple of 3. It's one more than a multiple of 2. Okay, so let's get some um, the possible values of here. It could be 1. Or it could be three, you know, or it could be five, seven, nine. Let's just go that far. And then it also has to be a multiple of three, so it could be this or this. Okay. The remainder one and then oh look, the remainder one divide by six is here's three. Here it's three. Okay, it seems to be three in both those cases, so that's enough. Now five numbers is enough to go through once you start to see a little pattern. Or any kind of repeat. Okay, you remember the, these are the only possible values because they satisfy both these conditions. And both of those, the remainder when divided by 6 is 3. Okay, number 2, when x divided by 12, the remainder is 3. Well, yeah, I can list those numbers out, but, but 6 goes into 12, and then the remainder is 3. So I know the remainder is always going to be 3. When, when I divide by 6, because 6 goes into 12, and the remainder when I divide by 12 is always 3. It doesn't work the other way around, of course, as we saw in like the previous problem, but that, that's going to be enough just, just seeing that the 6 goes into 12, and the remainder when I divide by 12 is always 3, so the remainder when I divide by 6 is always going to be 3.